Um, hi, I'm Caleb Sayre, and I'm just going to show you a quick Photoshop tutorial of how to make a picture like this. It's not too difficult, it just takes a little bit of time. Um, after a while, you get a hang of it. As you can see, I didn't do the best. I did my best, I tried my best. Um, but like up here, you can see black on my face, I need to fix. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and hop into this. You want to open up Photoshop and open up a new document. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you name it, just name it something that you remember. Um, the width and height doesn't matter, or the resolution just matters all for personal preferences. Uh, in my picture, I used these ones, so it's, yeah. So basically, you come up with a white square like so and what we're going to do here is just make a new layer and you're going to want to find a picture and uh, this is the picture I'm going to use just me my rest and singlet um, I, already I already cut out the background if you know the basics of Photoshop you should know how to do it if not there's tons of videos on YouTube to do it and stuff and Pretty much you just want to drag and drop, do it in like a corner like I did right here. Go ahead and just do that. It's just something simple. And uh, pretty much you're just going to want to duplicate this lever, layer. Doesn't matter what it's name it, just whatever you want. And pretty much you want to take the picture here. You want to take the picture, and you want to drag it just right behind it. I mean, we're going to use it later, and we're going to use it right now. Just a little simple to get it positioned right now. Or, like, it's a little simpler to make what we're going to do right now. So now you're going to want to make a new layer. And from here, you want to select the clear background copy. Just use the uh, polygonal lasso tool and you're just gonna get you a little piece of your picture doesn't matter what it is and you're just gonna select it like so you don't have to use too much you don't want you don't have to use too less just personal preference whatever you want it to look like do so and you just want to copy it now you can now uh, unvisualize the copy of the clear layer and from here uh, you can go ahead and paste in the thing you copied now from here you're just simply going to go up to your edit transform warp should come up like this just go ahead and warp it however you want I'm just going to warp it a little bit because if I warp it too much it'll mess with the picture and it won't look as good I've that's a problem that I had with mine and yeah so I'm just gonna warp it like that it's not much different but you could definitely tell the difference it's kinda pushed out a little bit and you're just gonna press return now you wanna take this drag it in try to line it up the best you can it's not gonna line up perfectly that's okay so from there you're just gonna select it you go up to edit and you're gonna go to free transmission transformation or whatever and from here you're just gonna stretch it out to however long you want and for me I'm just gonna go right there and you're gonna go ahead and see that orange blank orange spot just a simple fix let's go ahead and get the lasso tool just go ahead and lasso some of that orange from your copy this might not happen to yours but it might also and you're just gonna paste it and probably make a new layer that is okay just go ahead and take that and go ahead and place it right there make another one place right there so now I'm just gonna merge these three layers which easily just shift click them and merge layers so it should kinda look like this it's not gonna the smoke's not gonna go all the way out it's just gonna go a little bit it's just Try to show you guys what 
the basics of this is and basically you just do that with the other parts now so I'm gonna go ahead and get the shoulder go ahead and paste it get into a new layer and that is not what I wanted so let's try that again copy paste why is it not giving me what I want let's go ahead and just make a new layer ahead of time so let's Okay, copy, paste it into here. All right, well, just for show, we'll just use this. And pretty much all you're gonna do is free transformation. You will not have to warp this. And basically all you're gonna do is make it a little bigger. Go ahead, and move it right here-ish. I don't like that. Okay, right, so let's go to. Oh, that's why. All right, so this is when you want to get your clear background back. Just basically get this. Now you can unvisualize that. Go back to your layer four. Press Command D to get the deselect away. Then press Command V to paste that in. And pretty much just put it right there. And for my recommendations for this, I would just paste a whole bunch of them in. Like, for instance, I'm just going to use two because smoke's not going to fade too far. And, yeah, um, it looks a little sloppy, but you'll understand why here in a little bit. And, basically, from here, I'm just going to merge these layers because you can. I mean, if not, you can have a whole bunch of layers. But, you know, visualize your copy background clear background or whatever you named it your original picture you want to just get some of your face not all of it go ahead and copy that oh make sure you got the background that selected and go ahead and deselect that paste it in bring it over just drag it a little bit to the right a little bit. Nah. See, I don't like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these and go back. And I'm going to go back to this. And I am actually just going to get just my headgear. Try to copy that. Go ahead, unvisualize. Paste this in. Oops. Go ahead and move it up and over just a tad. Okay, so it kind of looks sloppy, but it'll look better here in a sec. You want to go ahead and merge these. And then you want to go into your clear background. This is what we wanted to, to use this mostly for. You're going to place it over it. And then go into edit, free transformation. I want to make it just a tad bit bigger than the original. Now you want to take the original and put it at the top. So it's above everything else. Now you can see the copy of your original is overlapping. It's going to give you that little smoke look on the side. So it looks like you moved there or like you're fading in there. So basically now... You can go ahead and take this and merge it with this. And from here, you're going to press the Add Layer Mask tool. And it should come up with white. From here, you're actually going to want to use the bucket and go black. It should make everything disappear except for your clear background. Now if I... See, it doesn't change any. But if I unvisualize the clear background, it does. Now from here, just find on any website. It's all over the internet. Just basic brush tool, smoke brush tools. You want to go ahead and open that. Once you double click it, 
should open up and all you gotta do is go to your paintbrush go into here and if you look through down enough there should be smoke now just for demonstration I'll use this what I do is I put transfer and then um, texture and it looks pretty good just go ahead and now you want to switch the color to white I'm just going to click that now you see how the smoke comes in that's from the background like of it see if I deselect it see it's white so it's taken away from the uh, background the mask thumbnail and yeah now if you want the smoke to go farther back simply just make your the objects that we made that we warped and pretty much pasted and stuff just make those longer and it'll go longer but yeah so we're just gonna go put a little smoke here not too much and you can always change your brush this is just gonna be a little rough just go ahead and get it and then you can get over here on your sides just get that smoky feel basically that's just a rough uh, I I prefer spending time on it making it look like like you want it to but yeah and basically after that you're gonna go to your original background you're gonna go mask and you're gonna actually keep this one white switch this to black and now you see when I click it faded that well basically what you want to do you don't want to do that actually did you're just gonna click the sides and it should make it look like you're fading a little bit oh whoops let me do that but yeah that's pretty much it um, simply if you spend enough time on it should come out with something like this like I said not the great example of it but it works and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and yeah